Imam Ghazali, for example, is a medieval scholar. He quotes the Bible a lot, actually, in the Ihya al-Muddin. He'll quote from the Gospel of Matthew. He quotes a lot from Isa, a.s. sometimes from the Bible, sometimes from our own hadith. But sometimes he does quote from the Bible. So the general rule here is that as long as it doesn't uh, contradict our essential aqidah, then you can quote from Isra'iliyat tradition, uh, but we do it with caution. Imam Ghazali actually wrote a great, a great refutation of Christianity uh, called Raddu Jamil. Raddu Jamil, the beautiful refutation of the divinity of Jesus, uh, based on the Bible itself. Right? He just quoted the Bible. He used the Bible as his proof text that Isa is not God. Ibn Taymiyyah has something similar. Ibn Taymiyyah has a book called Ratu Sahir, which is actually really interesting. Because Imam Ghazali, he said the Bible is corrupted in its meanings. Right? It's called Tahrif. Tahrif means uh, corruption of, of, of text. The Quran talks about the, uh, the Bible being corrupted in text. But what is the nature of this Tahrif? Imam Ghazali says the text itself is sound, but the Christians corrupted the meanings. So he accepts the text of the New Testament. It's a, they call it an affirmative approach of the New Testament. But the Christians have changed the meanings of these texts. Ibn Taymiyyah says, no, the actual text has changed. And this is correct. The text has changed. And he shows different uh, uh, manuscripts that say different things. Right? So they have this type of really academic um, engagement with the, uh, with the Bible. So generally then, there's three types of Isari Liyat. There's three types of, or three, three types of looking, three ways of looking at these Israelite traditions. The first is those known to be true because the revelation of the Prophet Sallallahu confirms them. For example, in the fifth book of the Torah, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Okay, you guys want to hear it in Hebrew? Yeah. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad, Ahad God is Ahad, right? So we would say, oh, mashallah That sounds like a valid portion of the Torah Right? Allahu Adam, but it sounds good Right? Isa alayhi salam In Mark chapter 10, 18 He repeats this verse verbatim Right? He or Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one Those known to be true because the revelation of the Prophet them, confirms them. The second type are those known to be false because the revelation of the Prophet them, rejects them. For example, if you read the Old Testament, you'll read about prophets like Dawood and Sulaiman doing things that are completely haram, that are mustahil, impossible for prophets to do. I'm not going to mention what they do, but even we don't do these types of things. We do a lot of things. But these must be prophets doing all kinds of crazy things. So we don't confirm these stories. This is obviously false, right? Or like in the New Testament, it says Isa alayhi salam is crucified. All four Gospels mention he's crucified. The Quran says, So we don't affirm that either.